I'm in the bath. Get out. <laughs> but Julie, oh, like, like, why is he her best friend first? Why is he inside of her first? You know, R.I.P. Betsy Ross, you would have done so well on Drag Race. R.I.P. Betsy Ross, you would have loved Choice of Ultimate Music video. <laughs> I asked Adam if we could do mushrooms at the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam, and he said no. I did not think that your vagina, your fucking shing, that your fucking vulva, your mom's pubis could turn fucking purple. Hey, I'm Nicole. That's, that's, Nicole. Nicole. that's Nicole. Nicole. And I'm Jake. That's, that's Jake. Jake. Who's that? And this is Talk Nasty. And this is Talk Nasty, nasty to me. Are those my pants? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your cute jeans. <laughs> Your cute jeans. Speaking Mine. of the Kardashians, we just watched. Jake and I just watched the Kardashians for like an hour and a half. We just decided that it was like our our thing now. And like we're, we're probably going gonna to watch put it, it on after this. Like we yeah. went from watching Love and Death and Yellow Jackets. Yeah. And what else would we watch? Um. Like a little bit of sex education, mm. but like you watched that before me. Yeah, Jake can't. We watch haven't that watched a lot of things sad. together, have we? We Love have. We have. What else did we watch together? That's like all we did together was like watch stuff together. Well, not like I. I think in most cases one of us had seen it before. Yeah. Watch Yellow Jackets. I did see before we watched. It. I like showing oh, Stranger Things. People things. Okay. Also, the shower keeps dripping on me occasionally. Um, and I'm okay with it. You're being waterboarded. I, <laughs> like, I don't think you understand. Like, this is... I got waterboarded once. Really? At the hair salon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I they'll do that to you. I, I got waterboarded in this tub once. Did I you? I waterboarded one of our friends oh, in this tub true. once. Oh, that's true. We've died, like... We should. We were talking about doing an episode, eventually, of us dyeing our hair, mm -hmm. because that's kind of become, like, a monthly occurrence where we play hair salon in my bathroom, and we get our real hairstylist friend to come over <laughs> and, like, play with our hair, and then, like, we'll bleach Jake's hair. It's, like... It gives, like, Polly Pocket every right. time we do it. Like, like, I feel like there is a Polly Pocket hair salon where they, like, run... Where you run warm and cold hair, cold yeah. water over the hair and it changes color. Like, yeah, that's basically what we do here. Exactly. And then I play, and I definitely like if I had a license, I would definitely get it taken away because I'm definitely not doing like the board certified things, and I'm like doing. I it. mean, at least you're not waterboarding people. That's true. I got yeah. waterboarded once when I was getting my hair washed at a salon, and this person genuinely did not mean to. They did not know. <laughs> I don't and know. They didn't Maybe apologize, they did. Though. They didn't apologize <laughs> either, but like literally just like pools of water in my eye saw until another hairstylist was like why does nicole have like <coughs> pools of water, water in her eyes and um you know anyway. somebody in the comments is gonna be like that's not actually waterboarding and it's actually really insensitive <laughs> of you to, to even compare it you're right yeah it wasn't g it wasn't my friend wasn't g, g though but um sorry my hat is just so itchy oh my god this is my new toad hat I got this from Target, but I wore this for the first time today, and I feel like toad in it. Like, Jake said I look a little bit... What's New the word? York. No. Flaccid, what did you call me? Oh, phallic? Phallic. Yeah. I look flaccid. You, yeah, you do look flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking flaccid recently. Thank you so much. That's how, that's how I tell Nicole that she needs to go get more filler. I'm like, you were looking a little flaccid. Someone commented on on a TikTok of mine and said, did you get more filler, girl? You look good. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, but thanks. Thank you. I think well, I'm just swollen. Yeah, yeah no. I actually watched a video or a TikTok of yours from the other night and like in the best way possible, I could tell like you were, your lips were like a little more swollen. You were laying in bed like this Ew. and you were saying something. <laughs> I don't remember because I was so distracted. I was like, her lips look huge in Thank this. You so much. I don't know, but then in real life, I'm like, Right. I, I look at myself and I'm like, there's Those? no difference. No, okay. Adam is like, I don't see a difference at all. And then my mom is like, you put Botox in your face. I'm like, for the last time, mom, it's not Botox. That's not what this is. <laughs> but anyway, um, we should probably start to address the title of this video. Oh my God, there's still lipstick in the tub from when we did our photo shoot for the cover of this podcast. Oh my God, memories. I know, that means that I haven't really cleaned, cleaned. this tub. Well, listen, don't look at the state of the tub. I'm renting. So, like, if there is... I think that's soap. That's soap scum. This is mold. That's for sure. But some of this is just soap scum. Not all... Well, I bought the pink I stuff well, from... Well, what are you doing in here? Oh, yeah, you did buy the pink stuff. I, I almost ate it as a I'm dip. a notorious, like, cleaner, and I'm a big cleaner. And I don't mean to sound nasty, and I know that this is going to get, like, clipped somewhere and then been, be like, white people are nasty, and I can hear it now. <laughs> you can't eat at everyone's house. But... In my head, like, I clean all the time and everything. Like, I am a very cleanly person. The bathtub, I'm the only one showering here. 
it is not something that I clean more than like once a month. I, I have agree. to say. I think your shower is about as clean as you as your dirtiest self, and I don't think that you're that dirty. Right, and I like to think like I rinse everything off when I get out of the shower. I squeegee everything off. I have a little sponge in here with vinegar and dish soap because I heard that's good in between washes. I oh. have a shower spray. Like I clean, but like is a bathtub necessary to be cleaned all the time? If you, I'm like, I don't want to do this because this is like the equivalent of like Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher being like, we don't. We don't wash our kids <laughs> unless they're like visibly dirty. Yeah. You're like, I don't clean my bathtub unless it's visibly dirty. Which now if I have lipstick in my bathtub, then it's, it's visibly time dirty. to clean. In fact, I'm surprised we're even still recording. Like, get up. Like, we need to, I know. We need to clean this. I keep getting um, water on my guishi. I have water on my butt right now on your guishi my guishi yeah <laughs> no it's a little farther up than my guishi i started saying guishi and now i can't stop the other week jake got his ear pierced <laughs> i was just in a really silly mood because i'm a little sleep deprived recently we were in the parking lot of Shoprite or what what store is available in in new jersey what store did we go to? Oh, we went to ShopRite, yeah. Oh, ShopRite. And so Jake has his pamphlet of all the different oh. piercings from his piercer and everything. And there's one under the general piercings, and it said, I'm pretty sure it's a Gooch piercing, mm -hmm. but I said... It is, because I looked it up, and I saw a lot of pictures right. that I didn't want to see. But I read it, and I was like, oh my god, Guishi. And now, because <laughs> it's spelled like G-U-I-C-E. and It's spelled like an Italian word. Like, like it's Guishi. like, it's like, Guiche. Yeah, Guiche. <laughs> <laughs> and so the whole time, like, you know when you're sleeping, the funniest thing in the world is the fucking dumbest stuff. And, yes. and so we're in shop, right? And the whole time I'm like, my guishi feels funny. <laughs> my guishi feels and weird. And like, we're like walking down the aisle, I'm like, can you just shut up? Please? And a man like, compliments please. me. And a man like, complimented my pants and I was like, that's so weird. My guishi feels so weird right now after he complimented my pants. Yeah, Nicole was wearing camo pants. So like this man was looking so hard and he goes, I really love your pants. And I'm like, he was looking at you hard. My guishi's hard after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I got them at the guishi. Oh my god, my, my guishi's guishi. tingling. <laughs> anyway, my guishi is soaking wet right now. Anyway, my guishi is soaking wet right now because this shower keeps um, falling. But what were we talking about before guishi? Wait, on, oh, well, you want to talk about, about the Jeff Wittick before we get too far into absolutely. this? Before, because like, Honestly, Jeff has clicked off at this point. I can't lose that on that follow on Instagram. I know, yeah, I can't seriously, fucking lose it. So, seriously. literally this morning, Jake was like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna post anywhere like that Jeff Wittick DM'd you or like, that's yeah. so weird because then immediately that's the fastest way to get unfollowed. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And now we're like typing. Like, <laughs> and podcast. we're gonna like talk about it on our podcast. <laughs> but like Jeff said something so sinister and evil to me in this dm jeff wittick himself like formerly from the vlog squad um now presently like tana mojo's lover and like trisha paytas's like oh. right hand man um and he just said something to me so sinister that i was like how could i not clickbait this video yeah by using him it, yeah that's actually so true um, jeff wittick i woke up this morning from a benadryl uh, slumber because <laughs> I cannot sleep and I never want to do don't I don't recommend a Benadryl slumber because it is supposed to cause early onset dementia if I keep taking it but that is a risk I'm kind of willing to take because I haven't slept mm -hmm. in like three weeks at this point I'm exhausted things are not right I'm getting eye bags people are noticing like my but she's hiding it so well like when you ask so Nicole, like how you how like oh my god how are you she's like I'm good yeah, and, and how, then like nothing seems wrong. Kind of like how you don't know that I'm on my period ever, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, and you're like what's going on? I'm like, I'm, I was thinking about you the other day because of that. Thank you. I was like, I'm gonna buy her a hot water bottle. Thank you so <laughs> yeah. much. I do have a heating pad. Oh, but like a hot water bottle seems so much more fun. <laughs> Why do you have to keep saying? Because <laughs> that's how they say it in Britain. They're like a hot water bottle. <laughs> That's what okay. It. That's where it's from, Britain. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. If I don't know. You're you're the one with a period. Can you tell me? Okay. Let me let me ask my guishi if I want one. Okay. Um. <laughs> but um. Speaking of of Jeff Wittick. Um. Oh yeah. Not not that that has anything to do with my guishi, but um. I I was I was sleepy and and tired. This also doesn't have anything to do with Jeff Wittick, but I'm sleepy <laughs> and tired. And I was like, if I don't sleep soon, then something really bad is gonna happen. Like I'm not joking. Last night I I've been getting so anxious before bed that I was like laying awake and I was like oh my god, if this doesn't work, if me taking the Benadryl doesn't work, like, what if I see the hat man? Like, I'm gonna see the hat man. I called Adam and I was like, I'm so scared. I'm gonna see the hat man. Like, what if I hallucinate? Because I took 
the, the normal amount of Batgirl. You've seen scarier things than the Hat Man, I think. I know. I really do. Like, I, I think I think you have experienced scarier, like, demons. I know. One time you asked me, um, we were driving to your house at night, and you, like, were asking, like, a deep... Well, I, I don't think you meant it as deep. I think you meant it as, like, fun and silly, because it was Halloween time. <laughs> And, and people need to keep up if they want to listen to this podcast. Yeah, really. Like you need to be I know, like, able what are to. We talking about you need right to focus on seven different conversations because that's how my brain works. Yeah. But we were driving back to your house, and I remember you said, "What's the scariest thing you've ever seen?" And I was like, "How do I give an answer back that is not like trauma dumping and also <laughs> isn't like ruining the mood yeah. tonight?" Because it, yeah. I don't even remember what you said. I think I I think I just said, "Oh, I can't think of anything right now." But like, what did I say? I said something funny. Yeah, you I said something it. funny, and I didn't want to bring the mood down, so I just didn't want to answer what the scariest thing I ever saw was. Oh, why don't you tell us now? Um, I just suddenly can't remember. I just oh, suddenly, like, I just good. don't know. But I did not see the hat man. I slept very good, and I woke up from the slumber, and I check my DMs, and <laughs> Jeff Wittick is in my DMs, and, and I see that little blue check, and I'm like, no <laughs> way. I think I literally out loud said, no <laughs> way. And he sent me a very, very kind message because I made a video on the whole situation with David Dobrik and Jeff Wittick and, like, talking about the whole situation. It's kind of, like, a new format I'm trying out on my channel. I really love making these type of videos. And, like, a lot of people seem to like them as well. It's a similar style that I made, like... She's a YouTube historian. Her story. Her story. I keep getting that wrong. I'm so sorry. And um, same format as, like, the friend of his video. Anyway, I was talking about everything that happened to Jeff Wittick and his accident. And so he sent me this super sweet message um and then at the end of it he said you're funny you're gonna blow up soon and that is so he said that to you he said that to me that's, that's crazy so up. that's so crazy i even sent it to my mother and my mother was just like lock your doors you are going to blow up soon nicole what does that mean and then she said vitek oh vitek he's polish ask him if he's polish wait I'm like, we literally got in your car today and you didn't even you didn't tell me he said this we literally know, got in your car we could have died i know i was thinking about that i was like i have to watch every explosive that i'm around today because jeff could have done something and you just to this. started your car we with no the, worries we in used the, the world? oven today we oh used, my god we used the the space heater we used a car we today. didn't microwave anything yet we didn't microwave anything. Okay, okay throw that away. Jeff throw out your Wittick. microwave. <laughs> Jeff Wittick <laughs> tapped into my microwave. You know what it is? It's probably in that <laughs> Dyson air wrap. What Dyson air wrap? My Dyson air wrap? Yeah. Oh, I know. Don't do your hair. Anyway. <laughs> That's why she's wearing a hat today. She's scared to, to use her Dyson <laughs> no, air wrap. No, it's I want to feel like Toad. You, you took these braids out <laughs> earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you took these braids out earlier today, and I was like, it's giving, like, those, Pippi those talking. like, crimps. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's cute. Thank do you remember you so that much. episode? George, have you seen that clip from Dance Moms where it's like, the girl with the bad haircut, and she, like, <laughs> yeah. walks out? I, like, like that she did that with her you hair. You should grow your hair out so that we could do something like do that. Do something like that? Yeah. Like the little crimpies? Yeah. I, I, could, I could do it now. Okay. Mm. Like, a little bit. I just did want to say thank you to Jeff Wittick for not only saying really kind words and for following me, but also for giving me a title for today's podcast. That was really sweet. And he watched, he, he, if you watch that video of us, oh, well, if you watch the, the, the Jeff Wittick video, then in the beginning, I shout out the podcast. Exactly. Meaning that he has seen both of our faces. I know he, first of all, he is so hot. Jeff Wittick's a little nasty. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's so hot and i'm uh, i just like the possibility that he may have seen me at one point in his life is like a little bit like i don't know that's big for me i don't know i don't know like hot people don't normally look like do you know what i did immediately me? after he dm'd me i looked through my instagram and all my stories and the jeff Wittick video to see what i look like to see how he perceived me <laughs> do that i would literally do that i'm like if you look at my instagram what does it look like i look like i'm like mm, i, I need to that. see this first because i'm like i want to know what he saw you're not like in like this world because like you have a boyfriend or whatever but when when like cute guys like ask for my instagram i i like can't give it to them until i go and i look and i'm like what were my last like six posts so like i can see what's going on there and then like what do i have in my story right now because my story is like deranged yeah, but I sometimes like that. i i if a, if a person has a more deranged story if i see a serious story like if i see you having a boomerang on your story then you're not that interesting to me unless it's a unless it's an ironic <laughs> are Sorry. you okay my leg was falling asleep oh, okay <laughs> this is better for me we're, we're <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> our guishis are touching underneath the mics okay 
hey, you need to ask for permission before you touch my guishi. Has your life drastically changed since the podcast came out? Yeah, like, I get noticed. Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, do, you, do you, like, know what my day-to-day -day life is like? Here's what I think your day-to-day -day life is like. Oh. I think you, you wake up. You're with your dog. You're, like, in a cold sweat, like, every single morning. You just are. First thing you do is go and you check on... Um, your TikTok to see if you if anybody liked your comments on any posts and if people did like comments on any like if you con Jake does this thing how do you he, know this hold on how the fuck do you know this what where <laughs> where are you <laughs> Jake will like he comments on TikToks and he, I'm sorry and, no it's fine Jake will comment on TikToks and like they're very funny but as soon as they develop more than like <laughs> sixteen <laughs> likes Jake is like. What are these people? I need to delete this comment. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> Leave me alone. I literally and you do get do mad. That. So I think that's what you do immediately. Probably delete some comments mm -hmm. that you have left somewhere, especially if it blew up more than 16 likes. You're like, yeah. I need you guys to respect if my privacy. If I'm getting notifications every like minute about a comment that I left on a TikTok, Turn I'm like, off your notifications. I did actually. So you'd be You'd be proud of me. I did turn that tastes like sauce or whatever it's called. It is sauce. Yeah, it it, is good. that tastes like sauce. Thank you so much. Um, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, it annoys me to be perceived sometimes, like for my comments, because oh, I'm like my uh, my like actual TikToks. Nobody watches those. So why are you annoyed if people are seeing your comments? Because maybe people. Because I'm funny everywhere, Nicole. Exactly. So maybe it'll migrate. That's true. You can't just expect. I had a I had a comment like blow up one time on, and people might not remember this video, but this girl was like, "I'm like don't know like, I don't know a lot, but here's like how how come a bicycle falls over? Do you want to answer the call from your dad? Oh, hello. Oh hey dad, what's up? Hi. Hey. You're. What's the shirt doing on Tucker? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? What? No, why, is it, why is the shirt on him? Because he likes to be warm and cozy. Okay, love ya. Love you. Bye. 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 Okay, like I put like a little. That is so funny. I put an adorable little hoodie on my dog. I guess my dad <laughs> has like a huge problem with that. Why are you? Why are you suffocating? He's your literally dog? like he's. <laughs> that was so random. That was they so funny. They do that all the time though. One time he called me and he was like, "Your car blew up." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, um, that's fun though." I wish my dad called me with updates. What would he say? There was a TikTok, but you were explaining. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you were explaining oh, she goes it like, so a poorly. A bicycle. I know. I'm just explaining <laughs> it so poorly. She's like, a bicycle go like falls over, but when you ride it, 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 it just magically stays up. And I commented, here comes, here come the physics stands with like the rolling eyes emoji. That uh -huh. comment got me like 30,000 likes. It was so funny. And then you deleted it. And then I deleted it. You're so sick. You're so sick and twisted. I might have deleted it. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I know but you I did. think I definitely did because I don't get like notifications no. on it anymore. But I also have like a TikTok account that I used to use that I no longer do. Does that's, that make sense? That's the thing is that like if you were to continue making YouTube videos and if one video I would literally be like get out of my comments. Literally, like that's why a video yeah. of yours can never blow up or something can do well. I, this is why I only talk to you. Because mm. I can't talk to this like like that many people. Mm. You know, I you, you th I never see the comments on these because yeah, don't read them. I don't because, because it's, you're gonna it's be like, like it's just like stop, stop trying to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the most ungrateful person alive. Right? No, because the most ungrateful person alive is Khloe Kardashian. Oh, because she sits there and she and they're like, literally, Chris is like, you should start a podcast, and she's like, why? Like I literally I hate you, mom, and I can't believe you would say that to me. That's Jake, the whole time while we were watching this new episode of the Kardashians and Kris Jenner is like trying to convince Chloe to start a podcast, the whole time Jake is like, this is what it was like talking to you. This is literally like, we like when, when we would sit down and be like, should we start the podcast again? Like, she's Chloe and I'm Chris. And I'm like, I just think it would be a good idea for I'm you. I'm like, I'm sick of your shit. You've been putting a bandaid over a bullet hole for <laughs> years now. I have yes. no one to turn to. I have no support. And I'm like, you're blowing up. You're spiraling. Yeah, that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I would do. No, I'm like gaslight, <laughs> gaslight, gaslight. Your feelings. That's exactly how I went. Did we finish the Jeff Wittick story? Oh uh, yes, because I ended it and I said thank you for your guishi and your time. Oh. And I said he sent you guishi pics. 
I'm not going to say... Well, what he said to me is completely private. I just wanted to mention the threat that he mentioned to me that he's... Gonna, uh, that I'm going to uh, blow uh, up. Yeah, because you sent me actually screen caps of it, and it was like paragraphs. Like, he was like writing paragraphs to you, so that was pretty cool. I didn't send you the guishi pic, though. No, 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 no. That's like private. I wouldn't, you I know wouldn't expect what? you to. You know what? I do respect that a lot. I had a friend once who did hook up with a celebrity. You know who. Oh, yeah. And they got sent guishi pics. <gasps> By the celebrity? Yes. Did they show anyone? No, because oh, they're good. so respectful. Yes, I love I no. that friend. Yes, because they showed me the messages. Like, it was it was not like he exposed the conversation. I was just like, no, you did not. I was like, show me proof goes, that you talked bitch. to this person. Yeah. And he showed me the text and stuff, like, screenshot of them, but, like, purposely cropped out all the guishi pics. I thought that was so kind of him. That I mean, is honestly, so sweet. The standards are so low. Or so, yeah, that's that, true. That it's like, oh, my God, he didn't show guishi. That's so sweet of him. But, like... <laughs> But like, he no, didn't. that's like when I when I go on like dates and stuff, and like I'm messaging guys. I'm that's like you? one of my. Oh, I'm. Gay. Are you sending guishi pics? No, 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 no. Why? I'm like, why am I not? Yeah. Um, I don't like that part of me. What if Jacob Lordy wanted to send you a guishi pic? I don't think his guishi would be like hot. Why? Do you think guishis He's are like hot? Six foot five. So he has like a long guishi. <laughs> guishi has turned into so many different things. Guishi meant I'm for talking me. about his. Well, Can we say that? I think guishi is like um, what's the word? It's it's like um, it's um, it's um, what's it called? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's it's like it's like elusive. Like it could mean one I thing, but it could be another. I want to see that written on paper. <laughs> <laughs> it could mean so many different things. Like if depending on the context. I don't think it does mean so many different things, though. Well, I'm saying it does. Oh. Okay. I guess like that's your prerogative. Right. Is that what that? Yes. Is? Kind of like depending on like how hard you say the word kurva in polish like then then like it means different things what does that mean well it's so many different things like if you say it like lightly then it's like damn but then if you say it like really harshly then it's like i'm gonna put like a little like um animation over what just happened it's mm -hmm. gonna be like learning polish with nicole <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you end up doing I, it I, I literally will not we, we can we can do a, a segment each episode where, yeah we, well, we were, where we were thinking about a word oh that's cute i i used to get i already asshole. know so many like what Chleb. What's that? Mleko. Um, <laughs> chleb is bread. Mm -hmm. Mleko is milk. Mm -hmm. um, kobieta mm -hmm. is like... Yeah, my Duolingo is showing. <laughs> Stop. You're Don't look what? at my Duolingo. <laughs> I'm in the bath. Get out. My Duolingo is showing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, wait. Kobieta. kobieta is like... Is that little girl or something? No, it's like a woman. A woman. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Mishesna is man. No, um, not. Jinky. Jinky. Is thank you. Yeah. It's like thanks. And Jinkuya is like thank you. Yeah, you're right. Um and then You're very good at this. Oh, oh, we I learned the word for earthworm because it was hard to say. Oh, I can't say it again. I can't say it. I can't say but, it again. Uh it was a long word. It was because my mom had to it was like hard say, to say it. it. I know, and we asked her and she like said it so easily. Um what else do I know? Almost in like that's her native language. Obviously Jendobri. Oh, this is it. Spiny Mamrosh. Jovnica. It's like Jizovnica. Jizovnica. Well, that'd be fun. You should bring a word to learn every every episode. time. Yeah, that's okay. So, cute. word of the day is kurva. Kurva. Yes. What does it mean? Depends how hard you say it. Kurva. <laughs> my mom like <laughs> listen. This is the only episode that she like listens to. This one? or Jeff Wittick because he's Polish, so oh, and he understands what it means. We should do a whole episode in Polish. Well, oh, actually, I was talking a while ago back when we first started the podcast. Mm -hmm. We should have done a whole episode in Simlish. Yarby Garduza. I thought it would be fun. Bart I, Bartzi Bardo. I would need to write it out though. You're better at like making it you up. You think I am? Yeah. That's the have, nicest thing you've ever said to me. What that you're really good at Simlish? Yeah. <laughs> Gardasto. I saw Adam the other day, like, and I My went boyfriend? up to yeah, and I was like, and I was like, your girl's good at Simlish. Guard. No. I just know every word to Las Fruby New. Sar um. Las Fruby New. Yarby Dancel Dable Dupes. Ima duka mimi shoops, sipu keeps the offer goob, las fruby new. Yeah. You're really good at that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah. Our, our we entire. Could do, we should learn slut pop in Simlet. <gasps> oh my god. We should learn it in German too. Oh yeah. Wait. I'm like, going to Germany. And das like, is slut pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Germany in like five minutes. She literally has a. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh yeah, we need to wrap this up. No, then. it's like five days or something like That's that. That's cool. That I'm going, and I'm. What like, are you gonna do there? I, I don't think like anyone knows that I'm even going. Like well, in general, they do like now. In, no, like in my personal life, even. You'll be leaving. Like, Nicole will be on flight <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday. Um, no, well, I asked Adam if we could do mushrooms at the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam, and he said no, which is like really weird. Is this a reference to something? No. You're lying. No, it's not. You did this. That's not a reference to anything. It's like, a reference to what I'm about to do in like a week. Yeah. <laughs> lying. I know you're lying. I Who swear said on that? my life. Okay. Ow. Oh. 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 I think I had my my ankle mangled in such a weird way. That really fucking hurt. I literally can't walk. This will be good for you. Because this is, I need to no. extend. I'm gonna like, literally extend my legs and straddle you. No, you. you <laughs> You can't, just don't touch my guishy. I, uh, I think that this is good for you because you know how I'm a firm believer. I personally don't believe in sitting down to take your shoes off. And that's not an ableist thing. That's like, obviously accommodations will be made for those who need them. But for me, myself personally, I cannot tolerate the idea of me one day losing the ability to get, <laughs> to get off, <laughs> to get off the... <laughs> 100% dead serious. The reason, listen, I cured my memory by in the past using mushrooms, using mushrooms and taking in them drug? in the Anne Frank like, house. Are you like, are you like elaborating on your drug? I took mushrooms in the Anne Frank house before, and that's why I you remember. Did not. I've never been to Amsterdam, so that's oh. a lie. But is Amsterdam in Germany? No, it's in Holland. I'm going to Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm going to Germany and Brussels and Amsterdam next week. You're gonna do shrooms in the Lisa Frank house? I'm doing shrooms in the Lisa Frank house. <laughs> I do shrooms in my Lisa Frank notebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally so yellow jackets coded. Lisa Frank Leaving was shrooms doing. in your Lisa Frank. That is Spoiler. true. Yeah, that's oh. what they did. Spoiler alert. Well, I think, um, I think that that's something that you should consider doing. Maybe your memory would be fixed if Just you do, just I did shrooms at the at the Anne Frank house. I will never do drugs. Good. Hashtag dare. You. Used to be one of those people who used to I, unironically wear dare shirts, and then I remember like my coworkers being like, "That's so funny and silly that like you're unironically." And then like, they weird. drugged you. That actually is I know. true. Exactly. You can, you can leave that in because yeah, that actually I, yeah, is true. I remember. Oh, rats! I forgot about that. That's why you <laughs> see all dare shirts do is make you a target. Fuck! That's yeah. exactly what happened to me. Yeah. Damn! You were a target. I, I don't even know. You if were I, vic you're a victim. I don't think I'll ever get into that whole story completely, but. Yeah, that is true. I completely okay, agree like, about that. You weren't like terribly drugged though. Like I was terribly drugged. Okay, like yes, you were drugged. Not like I don't think that she did it on purpose though. She didn't. Yeah, she yeah, didn't. Yeah. So like, let's get that out of the way. Yes, okay. she didn't do it terribly. Nicole was drugged in like the equivalent of like being like, oh my god, these brownies are so good, and then being like, <laughs> <laughs> and then be like, there's there's weed in that. And like, then that the equivalent of being like, I'm really scared. <laughs> But then, I need to go home. But then, like, that was me for, like... But still working through your Chipotle shift. But that was me for years on end. Like, the, the lasting effects of I'm really scared <laughs> was accidentally, like, a few... It wasn't, like, a two-hour trip. It was, like, a like a four-year trip That's, kind of thing. Wow. But but now you can take Benadryl and have no scary hat man effects. No hat man... I literally, like, woke up this morning and I thought to myself, like, when Jeff Wittick responded to me, I was like, I might be in a dream right now. Like, this might be a really f***ed up weird version of the hat man that, like, they put into these new Benadryls. Do you have dreams where you fall back asleep and you're still in the same dream? Um, I try to. That happens to me all the time. Like, I, I will to. wake up at 8 a.m. and then I'll sleep in another hour. But, like... Yeah. But, like... This was the dream until eight, and now it has continued. And I, I get like a little. It's like it's like a it's like a little second. Ep, it's like a sequel. I try to do that with guys that I was like in love with. Like I I would like try what? to like like I would have dreams about guys I was in love uh -oh. with, and, and then like, like please 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 yeah, let no, me no no literally I would be like please 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 please, please, please. I such a good dream about Fousey Tube just Shut now. The fuck up. And you know what? Maybe maybe it was. And you know what? If you were a fan of Fousey Tube <sighs> when we were like. 17 no i wasn't 17 i was like 13 <laughs> if you saw if him, you were married and in a loving relationship like i was with fuzi too right then you would understand nobody understands yusuf like i do that's why nicole should be making a video about. i should not that man is in an institution oh, right you now talk about, that. <laughs> talk about all the good that man times is getting help. <laughs> talk about all the good times like 
like shit girls say <laughs> like those videos. yeah shit drake says <laughs> yeah oh yeah see you should start making content i, I really want to start making content like that i know I a guy who video. has like 13 really? million <gasps> uh followers on tiktok and all he does is like do skits where like he wears a wig or like a towel yeah, he used to yeah, wear a towel yeah, yeah. and he just goes like son get your butt in here Okay. And stuff like that. That was that, that. I had a guy like that in my high school too. His name was Danny Barbados. He was he who was popular on Tumblr and then really popular on Facebook. And I'll never ever forget. Like I think he graduated by the time that I was like a freshman or something. But anyway, I remember one time there was a fire drill. But he le lived by the school, like really close to the school, like close enough that he could hear that a fire drill was happening, or his sister like alerted him that there was a fire drill. So he showed up to like my high school's campus Stop. while there was a fire drill, and like I remember this girl being like. Oh my god, I am the biggest fan of you, Danny Barbados. I'm like taking a <laughs> selfie with him. And I'm like, this motherfucker just went to school here. And uh, listen, granted, like, yes, he was like funny and very big and popular and everything, but like that was just like that Wait, was so he was like on YouTube or something making things? On YouTube, mainly oh, Facebook. Okay. It was mainly Facebook. And he would oh. like make videos like um S exactly Ooh. like like shit girls say. And, like, that was the peak comedy. Like, me and my cousins, like, I know, I'm really, my base thing is soaking wet right really? now. Really? It's put, fine. Put a pillow no, over I it. No, I want it. I like it like oh, this. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was, like, peak comedy. It was, like, men dressing up as women and putting towels over their heads or, like, a wig. And then being, like, oh, my God, like, my makeup's messed up. Like, yeah. that was, like, peak funny at the time. Like, especially when we were in, like. But drag is bad. Drag is evil. Drag is evil and bad. And bad for children. But shit girls say. Shit girls say is fucking good. funny. All those men, all of those men who have dressed up in a wig or a towel, that's including Jay Cyrus. That's including Danny Barbados. <laughs> no, not Jay Cyrus. Like, don't, don't say that to me. <laughs> all of those men included should be standing up for the drag community. Because exactly, what they have done is they Drag was all, the foundation of absolutely. what they were doing. Yeah. If I do not see them at the rallies or supporting <laughs> drag rights, those guys period because you're at those rallies hell yeah <laughs> There's no you're like if i don't see them at those rallies that i <laughs> that i haven't been to yet but i'm going to i plan on it. i don't think that there's any philly drag rallies. rallies philly is run by drag queens there's, that's true you cannot take drag queens away from philly when that's like the whole basis and center that's like, true philly philly was like the first colonial uh like city to Betsy be Ross was a to drag elect queen. a drag queen. Oh yeah, absolutely. She yeah. was. Duh. She f knew knew how to sew. Yeah, exactly. That's a drag queen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And she sew she she sewed together that gay little design. She did stars and stripes. Gay. 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 Yeah, I agree. Betsy Ross. Uh, gay icon. Drag yeah. icon. RuPaul would have loved her. Ru oh my God. <laughs> R.I.P. Betsy Ross. You would have loved RuPaul. <laughs> You know, R.I.P. Betsy Ross, you would have done so well on Drag Race. R.I.P. Betsy Ross, you would have loved Troy Sivan's music video. <laughs> Troy, I saw I saw a um, interview where he was saying that he oh he's not sorry. he was like I'm not trans, but, but he's not ready to let go of. But he's not ready. Shut to let the fuck up! Yeah. Don't say that you saw an interview. It was a TikTok. Oh, is that what it I was? Do the I'm same sorry. Thing. I do the same thing. I'm like, it's I, basically like an interview. I'm like, I read this article and it's like it's not me reading an article. It's a TikTok that <laughs> I watched. Like, I've done a ton of research on that subject. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, you've watched, like, maybe three one-minute-long TikToks. Right, absolutely. Yeah. It's because yesterday I said something along the lines of, um, oh, it's because of Alex G. I was like, oh, I read an article about Alex G's, like, girlfriend or wife or something is, like, a, a cellist or whatever. Because I think I saw Alex G in front of my house yesterday. But I don't know if that was, like, the equivalent of the hat man or what. But That I was think, your... Alex G is my personal hat man. I think I saw him. No, Alex G is, like, that's, like, the Oregon hat man. Like, that's the hat man that you would see if you, like, lived in, like, Portland. But, like, to me, like, that's, like, what? <laughs> that's just, like, funny. Like, that's funny. Oh, thank you so much. I'm literally, like, I, I, I don't care, like, how many times I've said it. My base shing is soaked right now. No, Can, not my base Would you mind not my doing shing. that? Sorry, base shing is, an, is another word. Like, um, it really makes me uncomfortable when we're in the tub and you're talking about how you wet know, you are. You are you're, like, one of the reasons that, like, I, I'm like, wet. no. You're wet? <laughs> I, like, I, one time I was on a scooter with Jake. <gasps> We were we went to the no, beach. This is so triggering for me. We went to uh, Asbury Park, and then we're in Asbury Park. First of all, amazing ice cream there. Very scrumptious. Yeah, and what's yummy. the place called? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we just go there every just, time. We're just there. go find it. Yeah, and you'll and, know it when you see it. And Mogo um, Korean, Korean tacos, tacos, which are good. Yeah, but we've it's since not authentic. we've we've since like discovered though that we like we don't better, love them. We've had better, but Korean they are food. there and yeah. good. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's good and like it's good for the memories. Like that's our like our. It's actually routine. not Asbury Park. Is that it's that's um Ocean Grove. Even that town is. I think so. Whatever. Anyway, um, I feel personally attacked okay, as a New Jersey person, but go ahead. Sorry. Anyway, we're there. We see those stupid little f- lime scooters, and Jake and I are like, "Well, no, it's really just you because I don't want to ride them because I'm f- scared." I don't, I don't think I said Nicole, get on. I think you did because no, because a scooter's more fun when it's just you. I don't know I how you, to ride you a did bike. Did that thing where you so were like, "I've never, um, I've never ridden a scooter or a bike before," and I was like. Oh, you poor thing. Help and then on. you got on behind me. And and, then, and it was very much like like I was holding on to her like uh, like Jack like, and Rose. Yeah, or yeah. like um what's that? What's that thing Prom that posing? motorcyclists do? Um holding each other? That's it. Yeah, spooning. <laughs> yeah. I was spooning Nicole on the And we Oh, we didn't hit anything. That's not we true. We didn't hit anything? I but think we were heading towards a BMW. And, and I was we- trying to slow us down. And Nicole's instinct reaction, <laughs> like, in panic, is to, like, rev the shit up. And I'm like, <laughs> no, no! <laughs> so, in, and it was like a Porsche. Like, it wasn't just, like, anyone's car. It was like, oh, my God. Like, that's an expensive nice car. And so I was just like, fuck <laughs> it. We're, <laughs> we're going down. And we, like, turned the, the handle. Anyway... Jake falls on top of me. I fall onto the ground. The The scooter falls out. The scooter is extremely heavy because these electric scooters are so heavy. Falls down onto me. Falls onto... And the first thing I say is, my base is shaking. Because that was just... That's such like a... Like, like to explain why we say base is shaking is like its own lore in general. I don't even know if I want to get like, that I up. don't think that we can talk about that until the right people are around okay sure to so, like to give that so story because i wasn't even there for that i just adopted it because of you the basis lore will be kept hidden yeah but just know that my basis got so extremely bruised like it's not even funny yeah. the way that i did not know that you well it wasn't my vagina because it was my vulva the way that Okay, th- what? What the fuck is wrong with you? Vulva, clitoris, damn girl. How many <laughs> did you got? <laughs> my whole, my whole mons pubis. I only know about mons pubis because of Missy from Big Mouth, which I am gonna make you watch today. I think that um, would be disgusting. They Missy today. I thought I was gonna edit this after. We're gonna do it all. So, um, we're gonna watch um, Kardashians and Big Mouth and editing this. Yeah, great. Six screens. <laughs> and, uh, that's how I function. <laughs> But Missy from Big Mouth, which I have been told that I sound like her sometimes, which is, like, the biggest compliment ever. But she just sounds like this all the time. And she was, like, um, you know who plays her now? Ido um, Edibiri. Who is that? Ido? Not Ido. Ayo? Ayo Edibiri? From? Some, um, uh, theater camp. Oh, in Bottoms. Yeah. Ayo, right? I don't know. I think it's Ayo. Um, Bottoms is very good. Yes. Yeah. So she plays the voice of Misty, Missy now. Anyway, she talks like this all the time. And she like really liked this guy. And so they were mons pushing each other. So like, it's like they weren't humping each other, but they kind of worse, but their mons were touching their mons pubis. It was called mons touching. Ew. Like two of them, like two women. That's disgusting to you. I think it was a boy. I don't remember actually. Maybe it was a girl. I don't know. I don't remember. But the point is, is that she was mons pushing. She was pushing her mons towards this person. It's like mewing. It's looks maxing your vagina. It's looks maxing your vagina. (laughs) 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 And anyway, my, um... My yeah, it's like when you suck it in when someone's looking at you, but like... I suck- it's like it's like you get naked, you turn around. Your mons The guy's pubis? like on the bed like this. No! And, then, and you're like pushing your mons pubis in. I think... No, I think guys like it when you have more of a mons pubis because you know that whole thing like... Um, if you're about to tell me... You just asked, do you know? And you're about to ask a question about <laughs> a vagina. The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no immediately. I jokingly said to Jake that we should watch Naked Attraction, but the thought of Jake seeing a vagina would actually be so terrible diabolical for me. Yeah. For you. Come here, cowboy. I'm like very sensitive. I know. Okay, cowboy, don't touch it. What the fuck? What are you doing? What is he doing? Sorry, I don't know. Do you want to come in or not? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just pulled him under. You just drowned him. Hi, Aww. Hi. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. What? 
Yeah. He's very good. Um, look at him. He's fortune telling. Um, my therapist says that I shouldn't do that anymore. Fortune tell. My, th- my therapist left me. That's tough when you, when you like have a living making, like being a psychic and reading I know, people's it's really like tough. palms and shit. She told me I'm a really bad psychic and I was like, fuck you then. You're like, that's my profession. Right. Get that. Oops. Could you try it? Sorry. Well, she was in the last one She too. was in the last one. She's always trying to bug her. <laughs> she, hey. um. <laughs> I like he, he, checks my, he checks my molars for me. I did not think that your vagina, your fucking basishing, that your vulva, your mom's pubis could turn purple when it gets bruised. Trust and believe it does. I thought and you it, were kidding go, about that. No, it goes through all five stages of grief of like no. a bruise. It's like turns purple. My mom's pubis it, is in denial. It, it turns blue. <laughs> it turns green. It turns yellow. And then the last step acceptance. is, is <laughs> acceptance. <laughs> So, how are you sitting on it then? Well, like just depending how you're sitting. Like, are you sitting more on your butt? Are you sitting? I'm not going to explain to you my anatomy right now. Are you like reverse cowgirling? I am reverse chairs? cowgirling. <laughs> <laughs> every chair, in, every chair in this house has been reverse cowgirl. Oh wow! Yeah, she has some wide chairs, so that's I do. crazy. Yeah. I do. Yeah. All the vintage ones they have been reverse cowgirled in. Ew. That's how I. Um, Is that why they're all? They have all that stuff on them. It's, it's um, like wet. On it's there. leather it's like shine. Gel. It's leather shine. Oh. Yeah. It's leather conditioner. So, oh. Well, I'm surprised then they're not more bleached. Oh. From your. Isn't that what vaginas do? They sometimes. like bleach things sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Someone was saying that they were like, I can't believe vaginas are so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how they get bleach? Oh, guys, we should that's stop. We it. should stop harvesting bleach from women's vaginas. I think that's wrong. We need to find another <laughs> different. Is that what's in my hair? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's what that's what is in your hair. That's what we use to bleach at discharge. Women are so Speaking of which, amazing. we do have to bleach your roots soon, so I will have to collect some discharge. Thank you. And I however much you want for it, like as long as you keep as long as my hair stays. That's blonde. why we keep buying the bleach without you being there. It, that's because how it just keeps like, showing you're up. You're like siphoning it from you. <laughs> yeah. You're like Kind of how they do um, snail mucin. Like, they let the snails crawl all over, like, a net, and then they, they let the snail... It apparently means what, they're so you're happy. doing, like, that thing that dogs do to, like, a rug? <laughs> <laughs> where they, like, scooch across it? That's disgusting. Yeah. Good for you, though. Thank you so you're much. You're so powerful. Are you Thank selling you. any... Are you selling, like, any, or do I use your full supply? You use my full supply. Like, I just, I'm like, so sorry. I didn't no, even know. No, it's okay. I, there's no one else I would rather give my Thank discharge Thank you. I'm, to. I'm glad that you guys do that without me, too, because, like, that would be a really, like, horrifying right. process for me. Sometimes, like, we were really worried that you want to grow your hair out and that we would have to get more um product to be like bleaching well, we have other friends with vaginas we do we do would they um or, I just, or is their discharge already i don't know how like we could be mixing our phs because then like we might be creating like an arsenic or something damn like, do you think that could happen yeah because if you combine like if the phs of all of Being our like, woman is so tough i know if we combine all the phs of our like discharges together and like if the the ph isn't right then we might like, it might turn into like acetone that's why lesbians have such a hard time scissoring because it's like they could literally kill each other i know with, they're like, so brave wow being they're braver gay is than impossible. u.s marines yeah literally, women <laughs> women like are honestly legends <laughs> <laughs> speaking of vaginas oh again <laughs> great <laughs> i have to i have to talk about I think I want to be elusive about how I'm telling a story, though, because I do want to protect the identity of this person. Oh, oh, great. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. Go. I do want to protect their identity just because, like... Well, I feel like if you say the name, then... Then they get promoted. Then they get promoted. And, and then I more people... paid for this. Oh, that's I'm true. I'm doing free ads. Maybe, maybe, they can, maybe they can come to you and you can... Like, like, if they see this and they're like, oh, that's about me... Then they can come to you about saying their actual name. I don't think that they will ever consume any content I have ever made ever in my entire life because that person did barely looked my way when I was in middle school. And now you might get all their attention. The I am telling you the full like I every single time I have retold this story, I'm not I wish that this was I want people to watch this episode because if people don't listen to this episode, then this story is genuinely going to waste. Like, it's literally, like... Because nobody will ever find out. No, because it's so fucking... It's so extremely, like, like ego-crushing. Like, this is going to knock me down several pegs. Like, this is going to be so extremely, um, majorly, very much so humbling for me. Okay, I'm gonna cut out most of what you just said right there. That was long. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, because if you tell your story about your 
person. You will tell yours. I'll tell mine. Yeah. Go, yours go ahead. is a lot more um, n- better. No, because we've talked, we've alluded to mine on the podcast before because it happened in 2020. Because I was like, oh, I'm a terrible person for oh, oh, doing oh, things, oh. and then I was like, no, Wait. but I have come come in peace. I I'm genuinely like putting my ego to the side telling the story because that's that's the only way that I have told a story to everyone. I have like You're so brave. I thank you. <laughs> the fact that I have like willingly called people immediately after I should just get into it. <laughs> and this is the exact way that I had to tell my therapist when I when I told her. <laughs> She's like Nicole, we've used up all your 50 minutes of you just giving a, a disclaimer. I'm like, sorry, I'm a YouTuber. That's literally like how I am with my therapist too. Yeah, I just start being like. My therapist went to the Kesha concert. Oh. And I saw a video. It was on Halloween uh-huh. of somebody there, and I was like, my therapist was there. <laughs> did you comment that? Yeah, I did. Oh, good. Yeah, isn't that cool? Okay, go ahead. So, I was I I. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, <laughs> sorry. I didn't even tell you this portion of the story. I've been having trouble sleeping recently. You what? <laughs> no! <laughs> Nicole, you should have, you should have come to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get off me. Go. I've been having trouble sleeping recently and I've, I've tried everything under the sun. Truly everything under no, the sun. No, I don't sun. like where this is going now. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried everything under the sun, okay? Like, I've tried fucking melatonin. I've tried ashwagandha. I've tried L-theanine. I've tried reishi mushrooms. I've tried it all, okay? You shouldn't. You should be seeing a licensed professional if you're going to have ashwagandha. <laughs> you actually should because it can lead to liver problems. But mm-hmm. I have tried everything under the sun. And so I... What? What's that other drug that people go on trips for? Acid? No. Mushrooms? No. It's like, it's like oh, she's oh, on a ayahuasca. blah, blah, blah. I, oh, you haven't tried that the, yet. That doesn't you? help with sleeping. Yeah, you never know. I, feel I like think it. that just helps with releasing bad juju. Which is what you have oh, and why clearly, you can't you're right. Go ahead. I've tried everything. To, and I just like I need to get exhausted before bed, so I have tried everything under the sun. So I, I was I was on the internet.com and I was um I was online and I was just scrolling through. I needed a good bedtime story, um like a good bedtime video, like a good bedtime video story before bed, no. so that like no. to put me to sleep. But like. Um, this was like a website that I had to go into like enter incognito mode and then like I had Are to Are you serious? Like, I'm being Is this actually how you found out? I didn't tell you. No, you didn't. I didn't. This is crazy, but go ahead. <laughs> Wait, honestly though, no judgment. Go ahead. This is the this is the authentic real like I We don't even toot in front of each other. <laughs> like like that's what I'm gonna say. Like go ahead. <laughs> So I'm on internet.com and I'm on this specific website.com and I'm looking at stuff and I'm like, la la la, I'm scrolling through and I'm like, this something looks really familiar here. Like something looks really oddly, really crazy familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't his beige shing and it wasn't his beige <laughs> And I'm looking at this man. Like, like wor- I've seen this penis before. <laughs> I'm looking at this man working. I'm looking at this man doing his job. Oh, okay. like that Talking head song, working, working, na 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 na. Like the song that I, I played for you today. No, the one about being in the about having your house having all the amenities. Yeah. Yeah. This man was working, working. He was busy. Um, what's that one song also by like Camila Cabello? You gotta go to work. Was he work, was he taming? Work. Was he taming? snakes like was he like a snake tamer or was he like not like was he like, like uh someone else was he like a shark tamer he was <laughs> um both both oh good for him <laughs> and anyway 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 <laughs> not both and i'm like standing there i'm not standing i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this video and i look at this man and i'm like i know this guy but there's no way I fucking know this guy. There's no way I could know this guy. Like, I don't know anyone in this field of work. Like, that's amazing. Good for... But I don't know him. Mm-hmm. But I was looking at his tattoo. He had. A, he has two very distinct tattoos. What are they of? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> he has two very distinct tattoos. One of which... This is a big enough hit. He has hint. had this is This is a big... These are two big enough hits. One, he has had when he was 13 years old. Because when... He, okay. In my... Country. 
<laughs> in my country. It's like everyone jokes around. Like all of my friends from Philly always say that I went to Euphoria High because of how like <laughs> so, it just some like wild the things are like. I know my high school was like so normal, and then your high school experience was not. No, and like did guys in middle school did the sexy boys have tattoos yes were they sexy for that yes did i try to befriend them because they were sexy yes were the teachers also in love with them yes and that was weird anyway there was this guy who was um like a year or two older than me and i um i remember he had this tattoo because i remember when he got it i remember me and my friends being like oh my god that's so crazy that he's 13 and has a tattoo but also <laughs> why is his mom's name spelled like that <laughs> It's a tattoo for his mom, but her name is spelled in a really specific way. Okay. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Like, how, that looks how, like, a like how weird? No, don't use the actual name, but like, use like another name that, that like, but like, how, how it's misspelled. Um, like, like, you know, like how, Darlene. Like, how would it be spelled if it were Darlene? Like, no, like, you know how, like, the name, like, um, what's uh, what's the name uh like how about like um <laughs> um gladys no like um leah uh oh uh no it's like it's like leah but if it was spelled l-e-y-h-a no no it's like if um it's like if if bella had one l bella Bila. <laughs> okay, cute. He's huge. And so I remember this tattoo and I, me and my friends being like, this is a stupid ass tattoo. Because not only did he get a typo, but then finding out that's actually how his mom's name is spelled. Oh. But then he got like this other like kind of fugly tattoo and like whatever. But we were like kids and I was like, that's crazy. Yeah, I went to middle school with this kid. That. I went to high school with this kid. Um, and he was really popular because he was really attractive. Like really, really, really mm -hmm. attractive. That happened to me. Yeah. Like, I was really attractive, so oh, I was I really know. popular. I don't know about that. Oh. And so, anyway, I remember in middle school, like, me being obsessed with him, and I went back to, like, our Facebook messages, and I did definitely message him. Anyway, I, um, I think I sat on his lap at the Scholastic Book Fair. Yeah, you would. I you were You did. were that girl. But you stole I, his hat, too. I think And you're like, <laughs> come and get it. I think me and Kaylee were, like taking turns sitting on guys laps like i think they were like sit on my lap sit on my lap because there wasn't enough stools for everyone so i was like oh my god lap hopping they needed their jeans uh bleached that's the <laughs> that's the most contact i've had with men after that like it's like, that was too much i became very fearful that was of enough for a that. lifetime anyway um i'm on this website i'm like there's absolutely no fucking way and I'm like i needed proof and i'm like looking at like the name and stuff i'm like there's no name here like nothing is like listed and i'm like there's no fucking way that this is did you do a reverse image search on no Google? no oh, so what okay, i decided to do was go on the facebook page of the, oh, the guy who i thought it was oh, okay. just to like clear my own conscience and were be you like, friends with him on facebook no i'm not okay, not okay, anymore okay. i used to be but like i cleared after out my this, facebook no, no 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 like, I, mm -mm. I cleared out my facebook like many years ago of, like it's only people who i am friends with how and many, talk to how many friends do you have on facebook just out of curiosity i think like under 200 wow yeah i You're really a facebook loser no offense okay. i have like 900 friends on facebook okay and how many do you talk to all of them i'm sure um <laughs> That's crazy. That's why it's hard to text people back sometimes. Where were like, they all at at your birthday party? I they I got COVID, so I couldn't. I actually didn't oh, have a birthday weird. party. You remember? Yeah. I actually, it was really hard because I had to text every single person. All nine hundred people. And like, and why didn't actually, you just Verizon say on contacted on? me, and they were like, "Dude, you're sending way too many texts." Oh, so you don't have a limited text? No. Oh, so you're broke? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, I went on his Facebook page and I screamed. I screamed immediately. <laughs> Because what is staring back at me in his profile picture, but that tattoo oh my God. of his mother's typoed name, which wow. it's not a typo, it's actually how you spell her name. And that is the moment that I found out that my middle school and high school crush that everyone fiend for, every one fiend for, I had authentically, accidentally found his his corn star page. Corn star? And that, I was wondering how you were going to say it. That, <laughs> I was like, ooh, I can't wait. That was the most humbling experience of my entire life because i wanted to tell people but i needed to um i had to be honest with like my i couldn't i couldn't tell a lie to kaylee mm -hmm. to kaylee i'm gonna be honest with her so we, we called all of our girlfriends and then all, all my girlfriends were like you're f behind like we all knew this like he posts about it on his oh, Facebook page really? all the time asking for followers and nobody on his let you know. page. it's just i just really 
it's just really hard for me because I just, uh, it's just so, it's so tough. Tu okay. It's so tough and difficult for me because like this man, I was, if there's anyone, and I mean anyone that I've ever met in my whole entire life who should be in that field, it is him. He is absolutely in the right path oh. that he should be in. And I'm so incredibly happy for him. And he's very successful. And it's really scary that I can't say who like what person <laughs> like you know how some people are like you can be a corn star and you can be an actress you can be a corn star and you can be an influencer mm -hmm. you can be like, you were like he's gonna be a corn star no 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 the fact that he has worked with one of my favorite <gasps> corn like, stars no not my favorite I, I don't oh have, I, oh oh you're talking my, about um i can't say it you can't say it either one of my favorite people who also happens to do do corn star on the side corn starry stop you're giving out too many hints <laughs> it's so i literally like when i saw this video because i'm like having to do research like kaylee and i are like scrolling through and like having to see this all and seeing it's that hard he to is, see other people living out I your was dreams supposed to be her best friend like why is he her best friend first why is he inside of her first i should be hanging out with her i see her that's gonna be the trailer for the is <laughs> you saying that i should have been her friend <laughs> wanted to be your friend so badly That's and i so still sad. can be her friend but it's the fact that he somehow got to her first and i wanted to become her friend authentically but now there's obviously no way that we can become friends because she i just can't work with someone stole your she stole my man <laughs> anyway i didn't tell you that that i found him authentically oh uh, whatever but that like, means nothing to me. I know, I know, but like, I just feel like it adds something to the story that, like, it wasn't like everyone how does did it. You, how did you think that I stumbled upon it? Like, like I was just like, oh my god. I don't know. I don't think about that. Oh, okay. Do you believe me when I say that how I stumbled upon mine? Yeah, I did. Because that's the truth. <laughs> oh, mine is the truth. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't go story. looking for him. Um, I used to work at Trader Joe's. We said it. We had a whole episode where we were like exposing oh, Trader. My god wonder what trader hose is jesus christ <laughs> later hose was what later i used hose. to call it um well i couldn't like talk about it though while i was working there though because it was like i don't know i just didn't want any i didn't want to get fired for stupid reasons like everybody at starbucks gets fired for like having funny videos oh, that they right, make and right, i'm just yeah. like that's stupid right um but i used to work at trader joe's and there was this guy there his name was jerry which like nobody's gonna literally nobody's gonna find oh, hit him okay. by his actual name um except for people who worked with me at trader joe's or maybe you worked with him at the trader joe's he moved to uh but whatever he like i don't, I don't know i thought he was cute he had like tattoos and stuff and <gasps> i didn't think that he was gay see that's what what happens is that they fuck themselves over because they have they the have tattoos, tattoos and I yeah. remember, you know what if that man didn't have that tattoo i would have never, never known, recognized yeah. him i would that's have so never fair. recognized him that's so he fair didn't him over. he didn't fuck himself over because he like gained like five new fans all right. like my girlfriend well, tattoos are hot so not his but anyway <laughs> <laughs> not Bel bila sorry <laughs> um anyway yeah so i was talking with my friend like the one morning first of all i used to get to work at 5 a.m uh -huh. and so it's 5 a.m and i'm talking to my friend and she mentions that she's like friends with jerry who works here and i was like jerry like hot jerry mm -hmm. and she's like yeah like nobody calls him that and i'm like everybody knows jerry's hot don't like no don't get it twisted jerry no hot jerry oh okay. i call him hot jerry <laughs> and she was like yeah and i was like so like i will always ask this like instead of asking if someone's gay because I think it's rude, I will say, what's his story? That's the second thing that Jake has ever said to me. What? What's it? That is so true! That is! Yes, because I, I said that about one of our friends um, who I thought was attractive. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I'll say, like, what? So I'm like, what's his story? And she, of course, like, nobody ever understands when I ask that. I think you said, what's his deal at first? What's his deal? Yeah, like, yeah, I'll yeah, ask yeah. that. Because I think it's rude to be like, oh, is he gay? But I do say that sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, like, I only ask if I'm really interested in the person. Mm -hmm. um, and so I said, or she was like, I don't know. Like, I can find out, though. And I was like, sure. And amazing, miraculously, she, like, texts him. And it's, like, 7 in the morning. She texts him. And he gets back, like, two minutes later. And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty open about that. Like, I'm gay. And I was like, hot Jerry is gay. That's insane. Okay, your I'm friend, deranged. You're right. deranged. So I'm like, okay, I need to act fast. And I'm going to act so fast that it is going to be almost five hours later that oh, I, I ask him for his number. So I, I didn't tell anybody I was going to do this because I was like, I probably won't. I remember. But I walk back into my job because he used to work night or whatever. And I go and I just go, I buy some bullshit 
because I'm like getting in line. I get in his line. Some other bitch calls me over to her station. I'm like, oh, and I'm I know her, and I'm like, rats. I'm like, no. <laughs> I literally, I, I should, I'm like, no. Um, and I mean, okay, you have to understand. I am also like. 20 years old at the time like and i've never asked anybody for their number and i might be asking possibly one of the hottest people uh-huh. alive for their number right now so i'm like a little nervous and so i go up to him and i'm like hey hey and he's like did you find everything you needed today Ew. <laughs> and i'm like yeah um um could i i was wondering if maybe you want to like hang out sometime and he goes yeah sure and then I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe I could like get your number. And he was like, sure. And I hand him my phone and he puts the number on my phone or uh-huh. whatever. We text for like three days and then we like never speak again after that. And then like two weeks later, I am on TikTok and I follow a lot of like gay creators and stuff. And one kid, well, like, I don't think I followed this kid actually. He just like, mm-hmm. it came up on my free page because I'm gay. And he's like, my fa-, it was like a list. He was like, my favorite gay adult workers like adult stars is that what they're called I think adult adult, stars. adult actors adult, yeah um and i'm like thinking like oh this is gonna be funny because like like it's gonna be like gonna a be bunch like, of like boring, yeah boring, boring, boring. Ugly. Like, i don't know yeah i, I don't know what i was thinking. I'm, I'm like i'm like thinking like oh like zachary quinto and like actual gay like celebrities so uh-huh. that's what i'm thinking actual actors that are adults i'm like why would they say that because i guess i didn't know what adult actor meant i watched the video and like the third person in it says this name which is not this person's name it's not jerry it's not jerry and i'm looking at but it shows the, the picture is jerry oh, and he's like pictures. in like jeans and like little underwear or whatever and he's like <laughs> and i'm like i'm like there must be some confusion <laughs> i literally thought to myself this is confusing because like that's not that moment too i was like there i'm like must be some confusion yeah i'm right like now. that's not jerry like that's like right like because jerry's not jerry i don't know jerry where he said Trader Joe's right, like he's right. not whatever and I'm like oh shit and I look up this corn name uh-huh. and I'm like Jerry is a corn star Jerry's an adult actor you're joking I this was the time that I asked out a corn star at Trader Joe's and you got rejected <laughs> yes <laughs> so much for listening to the Talk Nice Me podcast um, it's been great while it lasted. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy. Unfortunately, we know too much about each other now. Yeah. Yeah. But go watch our video, which will be out by this point. Yes. Uh, on YouTube, uh, where we read another Colleen Hoover book. Yes. Verity. Verity. Pa-pa. 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 Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. 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 See ya. Ciao. I don't know. What they say. See you later. Bye. See, ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Later. Pa-pa.